Nästa komiker. Hon har blivit utsatt för trakasserier och hot. Men hon har inte låtit sig nedslås av det. Hon har visat med sin vilja och charm att skratt och humor är bästa vapnet. Det här är min drömgäst. Ge en stor applåd för Shazia Mirza! Um, it's really great to be here in um, Stockholm Live. I'm from England, and in England we don't know much about Sweden. All I know is Sven Goran Eriksson. <laughs> so I came here with very low expectations. <laughs> But you know, when I first came to Sweden, I got a lot of abuse. Like I was walking down the street, and people kept saying that I looked like the elf from Harry Potter. Now, I was walking down the street and people kept shouting, Dobby, Dobby. <laughs> Now, I thought, who the fuck's Dobby? <laughs> so I went to watch the film and I wasn't pleased. <laughs> But you know, sometimes people send me hate mail. I get a lot of hate mail from Muslim men. I had this email last week. It said, you do comedy. You're a prostitute. <laughs> yes, I had to point out to him, you know, prostitutes earn more money. <laughs> But what he doesn't realize is that I'm now using him as material. So effectively, he's my pimp. <laughs> But you know, sometimes people ask me really silly questions, you know. They say to me, why does your mother walk five steps behind your father? And, and I say, you know, well, he looks better from behind. <laughs> But actually, these days, the women are walking five steps in front of the husbands because of the landmines. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the, the thing is, I'm very lucky because in England, the women in my family, they're all Muslim and they all wear the burqa and it's great because um, they all use the same passport. <laughs> In fact, we've saved a lot of money and my brothers have started to use my mother's pass now as well. <laughs> but I, you know what? I don't drink alcohol. It's against my religion to drink alcohol. Um, but I have taken ecstasy. <laughs> um, because it doesn't say anything in the Quran about ecstasy. <laughs> but I went to America recently, um, not to blow anything up, just for comedy. Um, <laughs> And I was walking down this street and this American woman, she shouted out, Oi, you packy! Go back to India! <laughs> Now, I know that the Americans are bad at geography, but that is taking the piss. <laughs> but I was talking to her, she said to me, you know, I love what you do and I understand everything you're talking about because I used to live in Islam once. But you know, my parents, you know, they really want me to get married. Um, but the thing is that Muslim men don't want to marry me because I speak. Um, <laughs> but I am quite looking forward to my wedding day, you know. I can't wait to meet my husband. Um, <laughs> but my friend Julie, she says to me, you know, how can you sleep with someone you don't know? I said, well, you do it all the time. <laughs> well, I went to Denmark recently and I got on the plane with my burqa on, dressed like this. And this woman, she refused to sit next to me. Obviously, she hadn't watched Harry Potter. <laughs> so I said to her, I'm going to sit on this plane and blow it up. And you think you're going to be safer three rows back? <laughs> But, you know, when I went to America, you know, some people, they, I, I obviously, sometimes they'll get mistaken for a terrorist. And I got stopped at customs in, in New York. The first question he said was, have you ever grown a beard? 
I said, look, I'm an Asian woman. Of course I've grown a beard. <laughs> then he said, how often do you have negative thoughts about the USA? I said, well, every time they attack someone, so quite often. <laughs> and he said, are you affiliated with oil or money? I said, I've got a car and I'm not poor. <laughs> what, does that make me a terrorist? But you know, they thought that my mum was a terrorist. Now all she does is cook all day. What's she going to do, run a kebab through someone? <laughs> Now, recently I was in the vagina monologues. Have you got the vagina monologues in Sweden? Yeah? Have you heard of vaginas? Yes? Um, the, um, now, what happened was, Eve Ensler, who wrote the monologues, she asked me to write a monologue on Muslim vaginas. Because um, she'd written the book, and there wasn't one in the book already, obviously. Um, and she was scared to get killed, so she said to me, will you do it? And I said, yeah, all right. Um, she said to me, can you describe what Muslim vaginas are like? I said, Muslim vaginas are like the channel tunnel. It's not that they're long. It's just that there's lots of Taliban trying to get in. <laughs> I've been Shazia Mirza. Thank you.